Hi everyone, Feedy Hero here, and welcome to episode 3 of my Just Give Me A Try weapons review videos. Today's weapon we will be looking at is a highly competitive blue SMG that many players sought after to use in PvP because of its damage, versatility, and easy RNG to get. This weapon is the Sondok C. Now the Sondok C is a blue version of the anti up D, and is highly sought after by players who can't get the anti up D to drop. This weapon comes with a 25 impact, range of 57, stability of 31, Recoil of 87, aim assist of 50, and a crit speed of 19. This weapon can only drop from the Nessus side mission called Exodus Siege, and it's the only place I found that can drop it, which is weird for a weapon that can be easily missed by many players. And considering that it's a blue weapon, you would think that blue weapons would be able to drop generally anywhere in game. Its perks are as followed. Its weapon frame is the precision frame. The weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. Within its first column, it has GB iron sights. Short zoom sights that increase the handling speed and slightly increases the range. SC hollow sights, medium zoom sight that greatly increases range and slightly decreases handling speed. Within the second column, it has ricochet rounds. These rounds ricochet off hard surfaces and also increase stability and slightly increases range. Tactical mag. This weapon has multiple tactical improvements which slightly increases stability, increases reload speed, slightly increases magazine as well. Within the final column, it has kill clip. Reloading after kill grants increased damage. Now like I said before, the weapon is an identical copy to the anti D for its stats and perks. However, the only slight changes it has is its less aim assist and handling. But except from that, the weapon works the same as the anti D. Now I've noticed these types of SMGs are incredibly popular in PvP content for its aggressive playstyle it offers. Allowing players to deal out pretty good damage up close. And then through its kill clip perk, it allows you to carry on a good kill streak with its amplified damage boost. In PvP, it does around 60 in the body and 20 to the head, which is quite good for damage since it's enough to take down the player within a few rounds. And then once reloaded and kill clip is activated, it will then do 20 to the body and 24 to the head, which can truly make the weapons shine in 2v1 situations. One thing I can say is that make sure you play around with both scopes on the weapon, as they do both play very well in different scenarios. So for example, the GB iron is more clear cut in terms of not having too much things in your face, so you can either have a clear fov when going down players. Also, it does increase the handling speed of the weapon, which is very much needed, as the weapon draw speed does put the weapon at a clear disadvantage against other SMGs, or generally any other main primaries. The SD hollow fov is good, but a bit too much in your face and can be distracting at times. But it does increase your range for your weapon, which is a given bonus allowing you to increase the damage range for your weapon. But so when you're firing the weapon, instead of the weapon's damage numbers dropping off quite early on, it will drop off a little bit later, which is kind of good for you, as allow you to keep pumping up the damage. But like I said, it's not exactly the best thing, especially for this weapon where its recoil is very strong. Both these scopes are good, but situation are best, and does require you to play around with them before truly understanding which one suits your playstyle. My setup for the weapon always changes depending on the players I go up against, so I may use GB Iron and Ricochet Rounds for more aggressive playstyles, or I may go SC Hollow Scope instead for more tactical and cautious playstyles. At the current moment I go with SC Hollow Scopes, but that mainly is because I have the, I'm using it on my Titan, and I'm also using Peacekeepers which increase the handling speed for every SMG being used. So it plays very well and signages is very well within my playstyle, so I can be very aggressive, I have a bit more extra range, and I can have really fast handling speed all in one. In PvP, it does around 31 to the body and 80 to the head, but this varies upon different races you face. As for example, the numbers I gave you apply to the Fallen, while the Kpao take 80 to the body and 219 to the head. So it, it really does vary. It's also a good flexible weapon to use in PvP, as one magazine is enough to take down a red bar enemy, and yellow bar as well, if you hit many headshots. Plus, when kill clip is activated, it does come in handy for taking down big groups of enemies, either red or yellow bar enemies, and quickly clear out the area before moving on. Now the only downside to using this weapon in both PvE and PvP is its recoil pattern, which is very strong to, to control at times, especially when ADSing with the weapon. Now using a kinetic counterbalance mod does help with reducing the recoil pattern on the weapon, but only slightly as you still have a bit of recoil to deal with on the weapon. So it's ideal you don't use the weapon at longer range fights, as you will lose out. Plus, ammo is limited on the weapon, so it's ideal you use the weapon in more effective SMG ranges. The other downside to this weapon is its handling speed. It's incredibly low for an SMG, and can make this weapon perform very poorly in some 1v1 fights that 
if you don't get the first shot down, there's no chance that you'll be able to recover unless you have very high resilience or very high recovery speed. Now, like I said before, you can increase it through three ways. Either add on the GB Iron Scope, add on the Kinetic Bracket mod to increase the handling speed for the weapon, or get a exotic that increases the handling speed for the primaries, like the Peacekeeper Leggings for Titans. But you don't have to go with any of these. If you feel like you're good enough with how the current state of the weapon is, and you don't need any type of mod to start to support it, then I'll say more power to you. But I do recommend that you go ahead and at least either use the GB Iron Scope, or even just use an exotic that focuses primarily on primaries or SMGs. It really does help out for the Sondark, because the Sondark is a really powerful weapon, but it can be outdone and outranged pretty easily by other weaponry, especially other SMGs that have a much more better handling speed and basically better performance all round. So the weapon is very favourable in PvP with its damage, flexibility and easiness to use. And it's one of my all time favourite types of SMG since it's capable of competitive plays and can mop up players easily if you're within their ranges. But like I stated before, the recoil of the weapon is very hard to use without a counterbalance mod to assist it. And its handling speed is very slow and could put you at a disadvantage in terms of landing the first hit. But if you ever want a weapon that's capable of taking on players with aggressive playstyle and keep up the pressure when running with your team, then I recommend you give this baby a good try. Because honestly, this weapon here is one of the few meta weapons that anyone in the game can get. If you can't get the anti D, then this weapon here is quite easy to get. Just go to Nessus, do the siege mission, and right there, you've got it. So that's the end of my video, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then by all means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by all means please leave a dislike, I'll understand, and I'll look through the video to see where I need to improve on, and certain areas that you guys may have picked up on that you think I could do a lot more better on. So once again guys, thank you all for watching, and I do hope to see you again soon.